New Atena soldier who is returning from a year long deployment says unwanted guests have been living in his house. It's outrageous. He says several people are illegally, illegally living inside his Decatur home. A Fox News Janice Yu has the details. He tells me all of his personal belongings are still in the house, his furniture, his trunk, his motorcycle, and he doesn't even know what condition it's all in at this point. And he says the hardest and most infuriating part of all of this is that he simply can't have those people removed. In the last two years, I've been only home for eight weeks. And then the, the chance I finally get to go home, I don't have an actual house to go to. Duncan Fowler has spent the last year in Poland, and in just a week, he's expected to officially finish his deployment and return to Decatur. But it's not the homecoming he expected. We tried to ask them to leave. They didn't leave. Um, the police have been called to my residence now on four separate occasions asking them to leave. Fowler says he learned people are illegally living inside his home. His property manager is the one who discovered the squatters, and Fowler thinks they moved in sometime late last year. He says his house was rented out at one point, but the people living there now are not supposed to be there. I have not authorized these people to be in my property in any way, shape, or form. I have never rented this property to them. They have no lease agreement with me, and the utilities in the property are not on either. So I, I fail to see how this is not breaking and ring or trespassing. Fowler says he's been told he'll have to go through the legal process to remove the people who've taken over his home. A local attorney tells us people in his situation in Georgia have to do just that. Go through an eviction proceeding to establish the person has no right to be there. But unfortunately, Fowler says this probably means he'll likely be without a home for months. And the issue is getting a court date could take you know, two months, three months, or even longer, just because the court system they're backfiled from all the all the people trying to evict people who haven't paid rent over the last um, year or two due to COVID. Fowler tells me officers with DeKalb County Police were able to go to the house and get names of some of the people living there, but he was told by police that they are not able to remove the people. Indicator, Janice Hugh, Fox 5 News.